everyone today's lecture is very important concerning that you must know that when you have to use the law of sines and when you have to use the law of cosine or you can say when you have to use the uh, sine rule and when you have to use the cosine rule i have explained in detail with the help of example in my previous lectures but this uh, but this uh, but today's lecture will tell you in brief or you can say in short that how you will find or how you will recognize that whether you are you have to use the law of sines or or you have to use the law of cosine we will discuss the different six different cases today so that you can have the clear picture about it so i have drawn six triangles here these all triangles are same and all of these triangles are oblique triangles the triangles that are not right triangle so all these will be Uh, um, uh, these all these triangles are same, but they will differ in what is given of each triangle in order to solve it. So whenever you have to solve the triangle, or whenever you have to find find the side or angle of a triangle, the first thing that you have to see is what is given. So we'll start with the triangle number one. This triangle is angle angle side. Now A A S. A is for angle, A is for angle, and S is for side. Now this triangle should have angle. I will represent an angle with A. Angle is for A, and side for by S. So angle is this A, then again angle, and this side. Now what does it mean? It mean angle. two angles are given and one side is given so this side could be any other side it is not necessary the side that is i have mentioned here but the side could be any but when you are given with angle angle side the triangle will be aas aas means these values are given so in such a case you have to use the law of sines keep this in mind so law, law of sines is here and this triangle must be solved by using law of sines don't get confused with aas a is for angle a is for angle s is for side and aas represent is representing that this triangle it has the values of angle angle side that is the value of two angles are given and one side is given and remaining you have to find in that case you have to use the law of sines how i have already made the lectures on it you can refer to that next the triangle number 2 it is called as angle side angle why it will have angle that is a a i am just representing the angle then a side that is the value of the side length and an angle so this is also the same case as the case number 1 but here the side is the one that is between the two angles so it is angle side angle so in such a case you have to use the law of sines in order to solve a triangle whenever you will get two angles and one side you will have to use the law of sines to solve the triangle the next one is side side angle now side side angle is It, what does it mean? Side, side, and side, side, and an angle. It means the angle is not in between the two sides, or you can say this: it is a non-included angle. When the angle is non-included, then you have to use the law of sines. It means the angle is not in between the two sides, side lengths which are given. So in such a case, you have to use the law of sines as well. so these are the three cases when you have to use the law of sines now we'll see the next two cases the in which you have to use the law of cosine what are those cases let's see one case is side angle side so in this case if i say side angle and side in this case the angle should be an included angle the angle that is between the two sides so whenever you have an included angle if i write here as well that is an angle between the two sides then you have to use the law of cosine so i'll write here law of law of cosine how to use it i have already explained in my previous lectures you can also 
refer to them. So law of cosines will be used in such a case. So the arrow will be like this. Next is side, side, side. It means what is given is side, side and a side. No angle is given. You have to find the rest of the three angles. So in such a case, you have to use the law of cosines to find the remaining three angles. This is also the case when you have to use the law of cosines. The last case is angle, angle, angle. It means that you are given with this angle, this angle and this angle and no side is given. In such a case, it is impossible to solve a triangle. So, I will write here, this case is impossible. So, these were the six type of triangles or cases on the basis of what is given in the question in order to solve the triangle. So, the law of sines is A over sin A is equals to B over sin B is equals to c over sines and the law of cosines is a square is equals to b square plus c square minus 2bc cos of a b square is equals to a square plus c square minus 2ac cos of b and c square is equals to a square plus b square minus 2ab cos of c. So, these are the three different uh, forms of the law of cosines that you can use. So, all these, uh, both of these rules will be used for the obli oblique triangle or the triangle that are not right triangle. And, and one important thing is, whenever you are given with two, uh, and it is very clear that whenever you are given with two angles you have to find the third angle by using the formula of subtracting it uh, uh, the two angles from 180 as it is a triangle so which were the two cases so these two cases angle angle side and angle side angle you have to use for both of these cases the formula for as 180 minus the two angles the sum of two angles then you then you can use further the law of sines in order to find the sides so that's all from from today's lecture hope so it will help you to understand when to use the law of sines and when to use the law of cosines thank you